Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please do not forget to hit the like button it helps the video a lot so let's get started so as usual we're gonna take a look uh, at the Dixie to start with uh, to have an idea on the overall trend for the US dollar and um, not much has changed since uh, last week guys I've been mentioning uh, this area that we need to see this area up here to be broken for more upside and um, as you may saw last week uh, the dollar tr um, did an attempt to break above that level but it failed so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we had um, an impulse deep correction another impulse that broke above previous high and then they failed to break higher and gave us uh, instead a lower high and equal lows here so uh, it could be now time to start seeing some kind of consolidation and the main idea here to see if this will break first of this or this level uh, up here so two levels to watch for next week on the Dixie uh, if the bulls to win this fight they need to uh, break above uh, this previous high to give us a continuation and move to the upside and um, if the bears manage to break lower and especially um, below this area down here then we might see a continuation toward next level of interest which gonna be this area down here so these are the main levels we have to watch uh, on the dollar for now i will first of all keep an eye on this area down here to see if it's gonna hold the price is trading above um, this uh, support structure and the 200 moving average on the one hour as well so i want to see if that will hold for the for next week or not uh, if we check gold we see that uh, also gold uh, had an attempt to break uh, above previous high and maybe break out, uh, out of this channel last week but uh, it got rejected twice both on Thursday and Friday both days end up to be below the 200 moving average and below the channel once again checking the four hour time frame we see that there was a, a nice attempt here on Friday but it got rejected back down at the 200 moving average so we're still in some kind of a consolidation we should keep an eye on this uh, little range here on uh, gold and as far as there is no break out of this we should keep playing those bounces um, both up and down until we have uh, the break out of it in my opinion and uh, what's happening at the moment um, with this chart is a little bit tricky as you know here we had a little bit of a push to the downside yet another one and if we check the one hour for last week we see also there was many of these uh, fake outs and these attempts uh, that um, could be manipulation stop loss uh, hunts whatever you want to call it so you need to be careful trading gold until we start having a healthy trend oil nothing new here we've been talking about this range and oil still inside this range if we check the daily time frame we see that uh, the price is far away from the mean which is it is far away from the 200 moving average on the daily could be time for a little bit of a correction in my opinion and since we had this uh, lower high and yet another lower high Thursday and Friday I think we might start to see this uh, correction to the downside to happen but as far as there is no break below this range that we will not see that uh, scenario happening but checking last week we see that uh, the market had um, some nice pushes especially if we look at the one hour time frame from this area we had this one we had yet another attempt to break higher and all of them failed to break higher as you see and on friday 
we've got a lower high and the market went back to the to test these um, lows down here at the bottom of the range so pretty straightforward uh, idea here guys uh, as soon as we see a break below this structure we look for potential con retest and continuation 50 um, could be the next target but 51 is the first area of interest anyway Euro USD also uh, checking the daily time frame on this market. We we saw last week that we had this um, potential lower high to start happening, and we were looking for a break and continuation. We never got the break, even though on Wednesday there was a nice attempt with this uh, bearish candle here. But Thursday and Friday was a little bit to the upside, not the strongest momentum though. So this could still. Uh, be an idea that we might continue lower and if we go down to the uh, four hour time frame we see that uh, there was a nice uh, bounce back from this uh, key support area i mentioned that in our uh, trading room for our traders to keep an eye on this level because when i start seeing the market uh, breaking down here uh, we were um, looking left and uh, seeing that this area might give us a little bit of a bounce and uh, we've got actually a really nice bounce to the upside but all in all what I would say about the euro as far as we are trading below this 200 moving average on the four hour and below this previous high this market uh, should be bearish in my opinion so i will keep an eye on this area for next week to see if will if there will be another failed attempt to break higher that will make me try to play a short especially a failed attempt after a breakout so a fake out and then back down that would interest me to start looking uh, for uh, a trade at this area and for more downside guys if we break below this structure here then we start look for a continuation to the downside here on um, euro usd uh, 1.19 is the area sterling usd not much happening still holding the highs but going sideways daily uh, structure is a bullish structure but we repeat this once again we are testing a, an area of interest that's why we should keep an eye on this level to see will it break to the upside or not to know what next from here because at the moment in my opinion what's next from here should be a some kind of a correction to the downside but if we look on the lower time frame we see that we are still inside the range nothing is happening here more than we've getting this range uh, bouncing around since last week and uh, in my opinion we should still playing this range until we have a break out of it so um, here there was a fake out with a divergence and the market pushed back down another attempt failed to break higher but what's interesting that the the lows are getting higher so uh, be careful we start seeing some kind of a little bit of a squeeze now with the higher lows a little bit lower highs but all in all the higher lows are more um, uh, interesting here because this could mean that the bulls trying to push this market for a break to the upside that still could be the case but I mean, if I see the Dixie making this uh, break above this previous highs, I'm not interested to buy sterling and I will try to keep shorting. So all in all, keep playing this range until we have a break out of it, either to the upside or a break to the downside, which could send us toward monthly pivot point. So just keep it simple, guys. Play the edge of the range and you will do just fine. USD Jappy, very nice chart here. We now have the break to the upside. I mentioned this potential break to the upside last week. Checking the weekly time frame now, we have a nice weekly close above the neckline as well. Nice rounded bottom here. And uh, the daily, we had uh, the first impulse correction and the second impulse now. So it could be almost a completed move here uh, an equal measured move is potentially on the way or already done let me check that we still have some room as you see to make an equal measured move all in all in my opinion the first rejection might happen at around uh, last month monthly or two these uh, monthly pivot are not updated for february yet i'm waiting for the market to open and give me new pivots but again guys i think um, 
the first target for um, USD Jappy is this area up here. So for next week, we look for potential retest to this broken structure and a target at around monthly R2, which means 105.50 is a level of interest before a potential correction back down. So um, going down to the four hour, we see it clearly here, a nice strong push to the upside. We wait for some up correction and look for continuation to the upside on this market. USD chief still below the resistance, no break above these previous high that we've been mentioning for a while now, but pretty interesting that the bulls are making the lows um, higher all the time. So it could be soon time for that break to the upside. But as you see last week, a strong break, a strong rejection, I would say, on the four hour time frame and the one hour time frame. You see it clearly how quickly the market dipped down. But each time after these rejections, the bulls been entering the market a bit earlier and pushing the lows higher, which mean a potential build up for some kind of a breakout soon, something like this, and then a break to the upside could happen. But if they manage to break the trend line, then next target gonna be this area down here to then start look for potential one more bounce because all in all what's going on here is still we are inside a range so nothing else to do more than play the edge of the range until we have a break out of it usd cad we were looking for a potential continuation on this market after the abcd pattern here so if we check the daily time frame after this um, uh, nice move on Thursday, we were expecting some kind of a retest and continuation, but still there is no sign of the continuation to the upside. But all in all, we have a nice bottom here. We have um, higher lows and higher highs. And in my opinion, as far as this structure down here is not broken, I still um, see this market to potentially move to the upside. So we go down to the four hour time frame. I think those of you who watched me um, live on TradingView, I think we mentioned that on uh, TradingView live stream that we had an equal measured move here and that it could be time for a little bit of a correction to the downside. And it worked nicely after this uh, double top here at the same area and then a strong push back to the downside. Now, if we check this chart and look at the 200 moving average on the four hour it been acting as a nice dynamic resistance previously. Now it is broken and start acting as dynamic support. I do like the idea where the market did dip the last week and that we are retesting the broken structure still as far as no break below this previous low i think this market may continue to the upside from here so keep an eye on that even though the daily was not looking so strong and um, on the two uh, uh, on the one hour time frame the bad thing is we had this break of the double top retest and potential continuation so as i said it could continue lower but as far as this is not broken we might still look for buy and for early next week i will check this area is if this level not broken we might get a double bottom here instead and then look for a continuation to the upside aussie usd so uh, we check the daily time frame we see we've got lower highs lower highs lower highs and now on friday we had a lower low as well and as you may know, we talked about this, I think, in my weekly overview and over uh, the live stream on uh, TradingView. Uh, by the way, I'm doing live streams. I'm on TradingView uh, at least once a week. So uh, do not forget to uh, follow me on TradingView. Uh, the link is in the description below, guys. So what we've been talking about was uh, that we saw the break of this structure and we were looking for a retest and continuation so we've got the first push to the downside it did not move further down then another attempt which made uh, this another attempt made a potential double top here so as you see we have a nice double top idea here and we might see continuation to the downside and you will see it more clearly on the one hour time frame so impulse Correction to 618 Fibonacci, another push to the upside, failed to break above, making a potential double top and the neckline is about to be broken. So 
looking for continuation to the downside on this uh, chart since we broke previous structure here i'm still targeting 0.75 on aussie usd New Zealand USD, uh, almost the same idea, still bouncing around inside this little range, nothing new here, channeling slowly to the downside and playing inside the range. I would say the same as last week, as far as this area is not broken, as far as these levels still holding as resistance, I'm looking to short this market at least toward this level down here and if broken, even further more to the downside to start testing these lows um looking left so those are my plans for uh, this market for the next week um, on new zealand uh, usd so that was it for this week guys thanks a lot as i said do not forget to uh, follow me on trading view and hit that like button if you like the video see you next week bye bye